All right, we'll do this. I'll do one of each example. Um, I'll do two questions here, some here, leaving you some to do, some here, leaving you some to do, just some. I'm not going to do all of it. Oh, the bottom of these word problems. Okay, well, let's start with the word problem. Read each direction. That's the last page, okay? Read each direction and answer each question. At the beginning of the golf season, Carl by Okay, he had 84 golf club balls. He loses two each time he plays. So he starts out writing an equation that represents the golf balls that Carl have left. So equals to the golf ball left. We'll just put L for the golf ball left. L equals to the number of golf balls. Okay, that's left. I don't need to write the whole thing. He starts out with 84 and he loses, so that's a minus two, time, two balls each. Each means times each time he plays, P. P represents in the number of times he plays golf. Um, that's it. Identify the slope. Slope is uh, negative 2. Y-intercept. Oh, that means um, that's easy. 2 times he loses 2 balls. So this means um, loses 2 balls each time. Okay, so this is 2 is the number of ball, and then um, over 1 is um, the number of times he plays golf. So here is a uh, number of balls, goes there, because that's y, um, number of balls, because the top one is y, number of balls, and number of time he played golf. golf. Okay? So number of time play. What happened? Okay, um, and the y-intercept is y-intercept, which is B, which is the letter B, is 84. So let's graph that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So this is 80, 90 here. So 84 is somewhere right there. And then he loses two balls. Let's say one game. Let's say ten games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games. Ten games. He's gonna lose twenty balls. So number of games and number of balls. Okay. 10 games, he's going to have um, 84 minus 2 times, he loses 2 balls each time, so you get 64. So 10, 64, so 60, 10, 64 is right there somewhere. Let's say 5, five balls, right? 84 minus 2 times 5, 10 is 74. So 5, 5 is right here, and 74 right there. Those are good number choices to make a nice line. It's your decision on how you want to go graph this. And I, I like making bigger graph. Okay, so I think these are all very much like it. At Frank's average speed is 19 miles per hour. So per means times, so 19h during his bike race. The race is this, this long. Write an equation, total number of miles he has left. So equals to t, which is total number of miles left. Okay. Um, for the race. He had 19 miles total. 
he goes at 19 miles per hour. The race is 60 miles long. So he starts out with 60 miles minus 19 miles per hour. So H is time in hours. Okay, and then um, that's your equation. Slope M is negative 19. It's night the speed is 19 miles an hour. 19 miles for every hour. That's what it means. It means 19 miles per hour. The y-intercept is at 60. 60 miles, which is um, the race. The race is 60 miles long. Um, length of the race. That's what it means, is 60 miles. So because this is miles x, this is y, hours is always here, time in hours, OK? And this is total mile. Or distance in miles. I put distance in miles. That's the most appropriate. So let's graph this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, um, goes 19 miles an hour. Distance that's left, number of hour here. Um, let's say he went five hours. Let's try five hours. See, um, 60 minus 19 times 5. Oh, it's more than 65, so it won't work. Five hours won't work. Let's do two, three hours, three hours. That's close to it. It's 20. 20 times 3 is 60, right? Let's say 3 hours. 60 minus 19 times 3 is 57. So you have left the answer of 3 hours. Ooh. So uh, 3 hours. The answer is 3 right there. That's close to it. Right? There we go. That's an easy graph, right? So you do that for all of these, OK? Uh, Jordan has a job delivering newspaper each Sunday. She earns this much plus this much for each house she delivers. So uh, write an equation for the amount Jordan earns. So um, amount Jordan earns so equals to A. Now, they didn't, did they say define each variable? No, they didn't. Let's not define it. Um, so this is 24.75 plus 20 cents for each house H okay the slope is 0 0.2 the y-intercept is 24.25 is uh, what she's already earned she's earned um, 25 24.75 is her the money it's the money she start with before she okay and then um, slope is 20 cents for house so 20 cents for one house so this one is the number of houses okay that's how you do this so um, if you have any question feel free ask in class